So I am doing my last page in this little book while Tanya is streaming. Everybody is working on a little page. Um, as I say somewhere in this, um, everybody is doing single-sided pages and I'm doing doubles. So that is what's happening here. I'm trying to pick what I want. I kind of did pick it and then I wasn't sure. That piece I just held up is one of those pieces of medical tape uh, set out on jelly paper and then stamped on. This is a mandala practice from Barb Owen's mandala, Beyond Mandala Madness workshop. And I want it on that page. Then I get a different idea that I want to tip it in and I want a journal on the back of it. So I get that all ready to go and I get all this other stuff all ready to go. And then I turn off my camera right about now. So I've done my journaling on the back of it. Since I can't get those unglued from the jelly tape I put them on, I'm just cutting them out and putting them in. Don't forget to use glue on your on your, well, yeah, what do you call it? Washi tape. Yeah. I think this could go a little bit faster. But everybody always wants to know what you're using. So what I'm using there is matte medium in a tiny little bottle of glue and seal that Peg Robinson gave me years ago that I've been using for a long time. So I just reload it with matte medium. So I'm gluing the napkins on with matte medium. Gluing everything else on with... Um, my Elmer's sticks to more surfaces. I really like the Elmer's gel, Elmer's Extreme better. It's my favorite glue. I like the wet things on napkins because then that white part of them just disappears more more easily change my mind a little in this thing so you know you know how you do I came back afterwards I added some more to this page um, I kind of toned down the bright colors on the left hand side I added words you'll see it in the final shot I am so happy to share with you guys today my little junk journal, little journal from uh, Tanya McGuire. She sent these out to about 70 different people uh, just before Christmas holidays. And then she's been doing a page a week inside here. Well, she's been doing a single sided page and I've been doing a double so they still have half of their books to go and I'm done I just finished mine on May 31st so um, this she made these out of um, wallpaper pieces of wallpaper and then she's got a bunch of her painty papers in here and um, tea bags and kinds of stuff dictionary text pages things like that um, so I got right away I put a Tanya inspired 
uh, carved December flower on the front that I, I made during carved December. And um, pretty much right away, I did the inside back page. Though I didn't, you know, the inside cover. Though I didn't really decorate it until later. And um, this says, um, we're all mad here. It's a little deck of cards that I got, um, Alice in Wonderland cards that I got. And so they've been fun. I've been sending them out in Happy Mail and having fun with them, putting them in places. So they're in places. So anyway, so that's my journal, and I'm doing a flip, and then I'm going to add pictures at the end in the order in which I did this book. But this book just gives me so much pleasure. So, this is going to stay in the shot all the time because it's the opening cover, the back cover. So, this is, um, I just put this little flower in here this morning because I kind of wanted something. I wanted her little note in here that she put in with the book. But I did, just didn't want it to be the main thing on the page. So, I added a little flower. These are all, you recognize, you know, just stamp off things from my desk. These were also from Carved December. This was the one I did last week, I believe. This is a little painted, um, this is a little colored coloring book page that I colored and then scanned. So now I can make it several sizes. This was Memorial Weekend. I was wishing I could get out. We're in day 70 something of the shelter in place. This was early in the thing on the 19th of January. She was stitching. She's done a lot of stitching in her book. Tanya has. Um, and I didn't do stitching here either. I glued down some fabric pieces, but then I, I did some faux stitching. page. I love all these pages. They just, you know, one thing I love about this, we did one of these a week and um, it just made me very happy. Kind of arting with friends, hanging out, chatting on the on the YouTube chat. Um, this was one of my Carved December and so was this. This was her, one of her tea pages. Tea, this, she gets these monster tea bags. And so um, I wanted to just have the tea bag and not really make it covered up. So I just put a napkin on one side of it. And then I just put some other stuff on the other side of the tea bag. This was a thank you. This was April 19th. This was after Barb Owen did her new um, Beyond Mandala Madness class and had a bunch of us who pay just a little bit extra, I mean a tiny bit extra so we could hang out with her once a week in a Zoom and that was just a lot of fun. Um, just lasted for a few weeks but it was the first few weeks of the lockdown so it was really welcome. So this was this was the kind of primo image on this page. This is one of the borders that she showed us how to make in the class. So this is my gracias, thank you, to um, Barb Owen for all her wonderful creativity. This is another one. This was done on March 1st. I like to get images, especially out of, um, I think this is from Wee Moon um, Calendar. And then these are from Mary Englebright Calendar. A friend is a second self. That's from my little Mary Englebright calendar. Just stuff. You know, we're doing most of these just stuff on our desk. So just little pieces of pieces of things that have been around for a long time on the desk looking for looking for a home. So I've had this tiny little strip of the Tim Holtz 
tissue paper <laughs> sitting around. And there it found a little home. I love this page. It makes me very happy. A friend is the second self. This was the one that brought tears to my eyes on April 12th. I don't remember anything special going on, but um, these are... I love these little... Oh, these little butterflies. These are from a napkin that my friend Laura Gregane up in Montreal sent. And they're so sweet, and they have German language on them. It's a napkin, and these were all in the napkin. And then the thing that brought the tears to my eyes was that we're all just walking each other home. Ram Dass quote. I love that page. This was done on April 5th. Stuff on my desk. Christmas cards. A punch that I cut out, punched out and put on there. This little pattern, this one, this one, is a tissue box. Kleenex tissues. Thank you, Kleenex. And the O stamp, OO, is the stamp that um, one of my Carbon December stamps, I think, from last year. You can do it this way if it's Christmas time. Ho, ho, ho. Or, I really like even Christmas time to say, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I saw that once on Facebook or something. It just made me laugh. This is probably what that Tim Holtz scrap of tissue came from, was doing this page on February 16th. Life has its own urges and only so much patience with the status quo. This, You'll see more of this in here. Um, this is one of my leaks, leak prints. I cut off both ends of the leak. So this is the wide end that has the green on it. And this is the business end that you cut off and make soup out of. So the soup was in there cooking and I used it to make prints. This was um, a, um, I've got two of these in here, this one and this one. This was a little pocket that I happened to catch Lizzie Brewer make one day. And here's my little journaling thing. Oh, my iMac is at the hospital getting a new graphics card and a new hard disk. And I just finished the Jetem stamp. Yeah, my Mac at the hospital. Well, it just turned out that after the coronavirus lockdown, my little favorite Mac hospital has just shut its doors. So sad. Explore. How about explore love? I like that. This is a die cut that was sitting around in my stash. Ready to just put and see. A lot of these when Tanya's paper was just so wonderful like this. I didn't want to cover it up. I want to use it. And like this where it was a dictionary you can kind of still see the dictionary but I didn't really want that much of that there. Oh, this was actually one of my favorite pages. We started doing the little fairy books, and so I'm coloring fairies and scanning them. And this was my Mother's Day page. Don't we all feel that way? For I am still your shining child, the one you know by name for our mothers. This was back in January, January 12th more of these are these are leaks these are all leaks along here these are all leaks along here you can tell I loved my leaks this year this is one of my stamps for this year art and love this was just finding goodies on my desk, putting them down on the page. This was a map that was in here in the book. So I don't want to cover, I don't want to 
make everything go away. So I just added stuff to the top of it. Live with Tanya McGuire on a wet, rainy Sunday afternoon. Fill the gloom with color and laughter. That's what this whole book has been about. It's been color and laughter. It's just been such joy. This was one of the tea, tea bags. She may have these giant tea bags. So this is a giant tea bag. And because it was that great craft color, I wanted to keep it. So I kind of made this more crafty color and used those. This um, cutout is from an advertisement. This place I used to buy all my clothes, most everything I wear is from this place called Buddies in Sebastopol, California. Like one size, they had like a small, medium, and large, basically. And every line of thing in that line fit. If you were a medium, you bought medium. If you were large, you bought large. So, that just needed to go on a page, didn't it? more leaks on this page. This is one of the pages that was in here, one of her jelly prints. She does the strangest, weirdest, neat things on jelly prints. This was where you put the medical tape on wax paper or something like that so you can pull it up again and then you stamp on it. So the, these stamps are from that process. My little Sufi heart. I love that little heart. I like this one. February 2nd is um, many cultures holidays, but in the Celtic tradition that I like to follow, it's the uh, it's Imbolc, or also known as Bridget, the day of washing the earth's face. So that, that one makes me so happy. This is another little flower. This one is gonna forever get folded under, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make these smaller. They're just gonna get folded under. This is another card from the book. Don't go splashing paint all over me like that. And this was a print off of a um I used my embossing folder on my jelly plate. Isn't that pretty? And then printed it off here before before I did anything else, before I pulled the print. Love that. This was the one I did today. The last one I did in this book. Um, I didn't want to use the whole quote, all the words in the quote, so I just put the dance, sing, and live. Oh, here's some more of that tape that I made. Medical tape. This was another play warm-up mandala from Barb Owen's mandala, Beyond Mandala Madness class. I think I've got salt in there that kind of messed up the, you know how salt works on, on um, watercolors. And then this is practicing that funky border, which I really like a lot. And then I want to do a little journaling here. So here's my quote. I put it underneath the mandala that I tipped in. Dance as if no one is watching. Sing as if no one can hear you. Love as if you've never been heard. And live each day as if it is your last. Day 73 of Shelter in Place. My last page in Tanya's little book. She's stitching her pieces in. I'm just gluing and filming too. This book and the time with Tanya and the Fibs has meant a lot. Creativity, friendship, fun, all good, all good. Holy, holy. There's a song. Sufi song. All good, all good, holy, holy. So that was my page I did today. And then this is my last page. 
And this is another one from Mary Inglebright. Oh, I'm fine, just fine, perfectly fine. Really, I'm fine. More, guess what? Leaks. More leaks. We love our leaks. I didn't want to put anything on this, but I just thought it was so pretty. I glistened up the... Can you see that a little? Not really. And we're all mad here. So that is my wonderful, so sweet, enjoyable Tanya book. Tanya's little book. And it's finished. Oh joy, a book is actually finished. Thank you.